this is what brand positioning is. It is you taking up rental space in your audience market. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am your girl. I'm Tanya Kabuya. I'm a business coach and marketing strategist based in Johannesburg, South Africa. And I help creators, creators, course creators, coaches, and mentors and consultants to create businesses that they love and that they no longer need an escape from. Well, on today's episode, I want to speak about something that is very important for any entrepreneur and that would save you a bit of time and a lot of coin and make you some money because you've gotten this right. So, yes, you might be thinking if you are in a position where you are like, I'm not making any sales, people don't want, buy, don't want to buy from me, well, today's video is going to help you decipher what is your problem and tell you why you should fix it now i want to speak today on brand positioning yes how to position your brand in the market and the space that you operate in the reason why you should spend time doing this is because every day a new person a new business is entering the environment in which you operate and Unfortunately, a lot of times these people will be pricing, will be using an entry level pricing, sorry, an entry pricing strategies to try and get clients from people that have been in the industry for a while. So, pardon the noise if you're hearing some noise at the back, uh, outside, I don't know, but yeah. So a lot of them will be pricing lower fees to try and compete on price. And I'm going to tell you what you should do so that you don't fall prey to them and you can keep your clients. So why should you even be thinking about brand positioning? Now, if you have any of the problems that I'll be citing today, then you will not you will know that you have a positioning problem a lot of times it may look that it's a marketing and sales problem but often the problem could be positioning now if every time people in your audience when it comes to buying from you they're like go you too expensive that probably is maybe you positioned yourself wrong and you have attracted the wrong audience or they are asking you when are you having a sale and you're like why but probably you have attracted the wrong audience you have a long sales cycle where it takes a long long time for you to convert clients the probability is that you have attracted the wrong audience and positioned yourself wrong and you have a lot of customer drop off where people are buying from you but after they've bought from you they keep asking for like when are you bringing the thing on maybe they didn't they are asking for things that you did not offer you don't offer and you're like what the hell then my dear you have a positioning problem and you need to fix it now what is brand positioning because there's so many things that are being taught and you like messaging this does this promoting there's so many tactics that are being taught and it's important to understand that brand positioning is a business principle and today we are talking about a business principle that you need to have in your business and you then can be able to devise a correct strategy i cannot help you divide a strategy on this call on this video but if you would like help with your business and getting it right check out the description down below there will be a link for a call with myself or one of my team where we can find out how we can be of assistance to you so now what is brand positioning brand positioning is essentially the influence that you have exerted on your target audience so that you are perceived in a particular manner. So positioning is just you exerting, exerting that influence. The reality is branding is not necessarily the color palette. It's not necessarily your logo. It's not necessarily 
um, all these things that we see out there, your packaging, but branding is essentially how you are perceived. The reason why you are buying skin care, a skin care particular skin care brand that you use is probably because you perceive it to be the best in order to maintain your skin. Or the reason you are buying a particular product is because you perceive it to be better. Think about it. When you are walking into the store, you are going to buy you you are craving for an orange an orange tasting fizzy drink immediately you think fanta why because this is how it lives in your so the reason why you naturally gravitate towards a Fanta is because that is how it lives in your brain. You just think Fanta when you're thinking orange tasting fizzy drink. Or when you're walking into a store and you're craving um, a drink, a cool drink, immediately in your head it's Coca-Cola because they have positioned themselves in your brain in that manner. And when you're walking and you're in the aisle looking at all these fizzy drinks, there are a lot more cheaper options. Let's say you're trying to buy you've bought yourself a bottle of NSC and you want to, you know, mix it at home for yourself, you're most probably going to gravitate towards Coca-Cola because you perceive it to be better tasting with the NSC, whereas probably there's another drink that looks like Coca-Cola that is a lot cheaper that would taste the same, but for you, you feel that it will not be the best. The reason why these things happen is because these brands live in your head, in our heads. And this is what brand positioning is. It is you taking up rental space in your audience mind. So this is, this essentially is what is brand positioning. Now you want to understand why do you need to position your brand? Now, brand positioning is brand positioning allows you to compete at way more than just price. You start competing at value because you have portrayed yourself to be a lot more valuable than the price. So this is why when I spoke of the example between Coca-Cola and the substitute um, drinks, the reason why those other brands will not be at an higher price margin is because they have not taken the time to position themselves so they are riding on coca-cola's cocktail as a substitute so as a substitute product you are going to come a lot cheaper than the original product so if you don't want to be a substitute product then you have to to take the time and the energy to position your brand correctly it's it also obviously allows you to charge a lot more because you are seen as a lot more valuable you are perceived to be a lot more valuable again the example of coca-cola or the example another great example is for example zara and louis vuitton a louis vuitton bag is 10 times more or sometimes even 20 times more than a bag at zara Let's say even if they were both being manufactured in the same place, they will still not be able to price the same in the same way because Zara has positioned itself as an affordable brand, whereas Louis Vuitton has positioned itself as a luxurious brand. So anybody buying Louis Vuitton knows that this is luxury, whereas somebody buying Zara feels that this is Fa affordable fashion, um, affordable, beautiful fashion at an affordable rate. So the positioning in the market is different. So Zara cannot command the same price as Louis Vuitton, even if they were producing the same thing that looked exactly the same. L same thing, Mr. Price cannot charge the same way 
as Stephen Madden. If you don't know what these stores are and you're watching it from another country, these are Mr. Price is an affordable fashion house. Um, whereas with Steve Madden, it's a lot more, it's not expensive, expensive, but it's a lot more, you know, it's got a zhuzh where it's a lot more expensive because it's more of, um, dupe of another brand of the Tom Ford brand. So Stephen Madden is a substitute to Tom Ford. Even if I had to give you the example, Tom Ford and Stephen Madden prices will be different because one is a substitute of the other. So it is important to position yourself well if you want to be recognized as a premium brand. Furthermore, it makes your marketing messaging, your sales, and everything else, your copywriting, a lot easier because you now know how you want to be perceived. Therefore, even when you are you are crafting your message, you are crafting your copy, you are crafting your sales script, you are crafting your messaging, you know the influence and the persuasive um, influence that you want to have on your target audience. So these are the reasons why you should be investing in getting proper positioning or actually looking, or actually, pardon me, or actually working on your positioning. Now, if you would like help with that, like I said before, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Link is in the comment. Uh, in the comment and in the description box and we would love 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 to work with you on this because as we clearly can see it is important so let's recap um if you are noticing that people are saying that you are too expensive they are saying that they are keep asking you what is your sale when are you having a sale um the people that are buying from you are dropping off well and what else? You have long sales cycles. Well, then you have a positioning problem that you need to look at. And the reason why you need to look at it is because if you want to be perceived, you want to know if what you want to be perceived as is actually is actually what you are being perceived as and then look at that gap and fix it. Now, on this note, I'll say goodbye. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know in the comment down below if you feel that you have a positioning problem and let's start a conversation there and what you think should be done you are what are your thoughts on this video i want to hear from you and i'll say goodbye for now and i'll see you guys next time bye bye